My MTI colleagues have highlighted the needs for Singapore companies to venture beyond our shores, especially to the rest of Asia. A lack of familiarity with overseas markets is often cited as the biggest hurdle to internationalization. I agree with Mr. Yi Chia Xing that our enterprises and our people need to develop greater global market expertise to capture Asia's potential. The government is committed to helping Singaporeans build up international networks and cross-cultural awareness through market immersions and overseas training programs. These programs are aimed to equip individuals of different ages and experience from young students to current and future business leaders. For our students, we have the Skills Future Young Talent Program, in short, YTP. The YTP provides students with opportunities for overseas internships and work-study programs in fast-growing Asian markets, including Southeast Asia. The YTP is open to students in universities, in polytechnics, in the Institute of Technical Education. And I am pleased to report that to date, over 5,000 students have benefited from the Young Talent Programme. And over the next three years, another 3,000 students can look forward to being sent out under this initiative. On behalf of MTI, I would like to thank our industry partners and our post-secondary education institutions, PSEIs, that have developed the YTP to this skill since its launch in 2012. Many students come back from the YTP relating the enriching experience. With your permission, Mr. Chairman, may I display a photo? This is ITE College Central's Ms. Lim Siying. Last December, Siying spent a stint working in Big C Supercenter in Lampun, Thailand. During her stint with the Hypermart operator, Siying led a group of 18 trainees and managed the store's labeling and inventory as well as its promotion campaign for the cosmetics section. Siying shared with us that this exposure has sparked her interest in the different Southeast Asian markets. And she observed that the different Southeast Asian markets have diverse leadership and business styles. And she shared that the stint has also broadened her horizon and led her to make many friends overseas. And she's quite sure that whether she work for a company or become or she becomes a business owner, this friendship with many different nationalities will serve her very well throughout her lifetime. And that is the impact we hope to make via the YTP. Thus, the YTP not only offers our students valuable opportunities for cross-cultural learning, they learn, like Siying, <coughs> to venture out of their comfort zones and build networks in today's increasingly interconnected world. So that's for students. How about our current and future business leaders? Our current and future business leaders are able to tap on Skills Future Leadership, Leadership Development Initiative, in short, LDI, to enhance their growth and international exposure to key overseas markets. In his budget statement, the Minister for Finance, Minister Heng Sui Kiet, announced the launch of the new ASEAN Leadership Programme under the LDI. You have heard earlier from Minister Iswaran, he also spoke about the LDI, Asian ASEAN Leadership Programme. The ASEAN Leadership Programme under the LDI offers opportunities for business leaders, current and future, to gain overseas market immersion and training that are vital for the development of their global market expertise. As our Singapore companies expand across ASEAN and beyond, it is crucial that we have a pipeline of talents ready to lead, ready to support these efforts. The ASEAN Leadership Programme will focus on creating a vibrant pool of business leaders who understand the unique business environments and the unique culture of Southeast Asian markets. These countries offer significant growth opportunities for our companies, especially as when ASEAN continues to integrate. ASEAN region is an important one. We heard Minister Lim Hung Kiang talk about it. ASEAN's GDP is expected to grow 5.2% annually from year 2018 to year 2020. By year 2030, ASEAN could become the fourth largest market, fourth largest single market in the world after China, US, EU, that will be ASEAN in year 
2030, with more than 600 million people and a middle class that is expected to increase from 38 million households in 2015 to 161 million households of middle class income in year 2030, ASEAN has lots of untapped promise and untapped potential. In the second half of this year, ASEAN Leadership Programme will be launched by Enterprise Singapore and its partner, the Human Capital Leadership Institute. Besides the knowledge of business cultures and leaderships in key Southeast Asian markets, the ASEAN Leadership Programme will also arm the participants with a chance to go in market to learn from as well as to network with both the private sector and the public sector leaders. This not only helps our business leader better navigate the region and capture emerging trends, it extends their connections and growth into new markets. The ASEAN Leadership Programme is expected to support more than 100 Singaporeans over the next three years. In conclusion, the government is deeply committed to enabling Singaporeans with the skills and knowledge to stay relevant. However, we cannot do this alone. We need employers, we need TACs, we need unions, we need PSEIs, we need trading, training providers to all work closely together to empower our people. Now, on an individual level, we each have to take responsibility for our future by embracing lifelong learning. Only then can we capture new potential, only then can we grow in step with the changes, and only then can we rise to overcome the new demands of tomorrow. Thank you, and on behalf of the MTI team, we want to wish everyone a happy Sapgomeh.